Hi guys, Michael and Dan here for stage two of our workout at home. So now we're going to move into the upper body and what we're going to do, we've got, Daniel's got two basic five kilo dumbbells here. You can use any resistance component you have in your home. Go into your pantry, find cans of baked beans, cans of tomato soup, anything with three or four kilo for resistance. Your wife. <laughs> got to keep Sorry. your distance. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so basically what we're going to warm up with, with any upper body resistance, we've done a good core strength workout, if you see on the first episode. So we're going to get straight into just working. To start with, we're going to start with chest and back and shoulders as the main component. And the, what, what, all we're going to do for there is keeping the elbows in. We're going to bring the dumbbells up to a raised position and we're just going to extend overhead. And again, this is only a light weight, so all we're doing is trying to warm up the, the shoulder joint, just activating those deltoids. Basic exercise. And again, the basic thing we need to work on here is to making sure that the core strength is good. We're not leaning forward, we're not leaning back. We're pretty much just centered in a neutral position. See Daniel's head's well balanced. There's no compression through there. Daniel, if I can just get your eyes to be looking a bit more level. Fantastic. I know there's a lot of light in your eyes there, but that's, it, that's what we want to be doing. Really important component when doing any sort of resistance work is to make sure the eyes are above what we call 180 degrees you know, on a level platform, just so that the, the body goes where the head goes. We don't want to end up with the head on the floor. We want to keep working overhead. Well done, Dan. That was a good demonstration. Okay. And then again, so you're using the shoulders, just going out into some basic flies. So just coming straight out. And again, just be careful of the weight. You don't even have to use a weight for resistance for this. You can actually just use your own hands. Really good form there, Daniel, well done. You've been trained by the best, fantastic. Okay, and again, elbows in. All we're gonna do here, an exercise that doesn't probably get it done enough, but I, I think it's really, really important, and that is opening up the rotator cuff of the shoulder. A lot of our daily actions are always inward rotated. Let's work that shoulder back the other way very good. And we can do one at a time, one holding, and one out, one back, and one out. I tend to call them cupboard doors, opening cupboard doors, swinging. Fantastic. Really good. Okay, so we've worked the shoulder joint. That's the major area. The muscles, you can see Daniel's really active in that area. Now we're going to start to work the back of the arm muscles. And these are just your basic trapeze, uh, sorry, uh, tricep muscles. So again, Daniel, just one hand. Can we demonstrate an overhead extension? Daniel's telling your baked beans, just extending straight up. Very good. And these are really good. The reason, like, we're not out... If you're at home working, these are just basic. If your hands are in a basic position for, you know, relatively a couple of hours, all this is going to do is just help get the oxygen back to those areas, you know. And that's what, you know, the essence of life is all about, making sure, you know, you're breathing well and oxygen's getting those components of the body that stay dormant for periods of time. Fantastic demonstration, Daniel. And then basically now moving around to the front of the body, we're just going to work on the, uh, the major muscles of the front in the biceps and then just some basic bicep curls. Daniel, making sure again, elbows in, Shoulders are back and just working the arm in an upward motion. Cool. And you see Daniel's arms, he's flicking at the top. You can also keep the, uh, the weight in a static position as you come up. Into a fly, fantastic. And again, change it so those, they're at 180 degrees to your body there, Daniel, so you can come straight up. Yeah, leave them in that method of motion there as well. Fantastic. I love the, the baked bean cans because it's really big in the hands, really gives you some good breathing. Fantastic. Really good. So all these exercises have been done in a standard motion. Now, in, if you go back to episode one and we've seen some lunging coming forward and lunging and coming back, these two can be combined together depending on your fitness level. So come forward with a dumbbell in hand, the other side, and coming up, and a bicep curl at the top there. Very good. Down to a lunge, back up to a bicep curl at the top. Very good. Down into a lunge, back up to a bicep curl, stop holding then that's high position there, throwing up into the shoulders. Yep, and shoulders up, down. And demonstrate the squat we've seen in the first one, down, up, down, weights to the side, down, up, bicep curl up, hands above head, very good. So as you can see, play around with it, and again, you can't go wrong providing you keep your body in a safe and neutral position. And again, work to your own levels, 
Work to your own fitness capabilities. Don't try and do anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Just work within your own range and remember to breathe. That's the essence of survival. Well done.